Hello and welcome. Today, for some reason, still again, we are going to be reading this essay by Craig Wright, Jean-Paul Sartre, Signing and Significance. We're going to read it very, very carefully, and we're going to see if it says the things we might have assumed it says. We're just going to carefully read it and see whether, in fact, it says those things. Jean-Paul Sartre, Signing and Significance by Craig Wright, 2nd of May, 2016. On Tuesday, 26th of April, 2016, I did the final stage of instruction to a select group of people concerning the origins of the form of signing and a set of digital keys that I am going to communicate the origins of on this blog. I was going to say the origins, whatever. I spent time with the BBC, The Economist, and GQ. That's true. Prior to this, I had already met John Matinus, Gavin Andreessen, and others. Yeah. I will not provide an account of what occurred in each of these meetings, and will leave it for others to disclose if they choose. Okay, he's not going to say about those meetings. It is always preferable to have evidence firsthand and to pass over hearsay. Just good general advice. Then we have a Schopenhauer quote. All truth passes through three stages. First, it is ridiculed. Second, it is violently opposed. Third, is it accepted as being self-evident. Is that really a Schopenhauer quote? Okay. Not, not Gandhi, apparently. The internet told me it was Gandhi. In the last few years, many people have misunderstood requests I've made. Oh, that's true. I'm not asking for money, and on any occurrence where I have sought to contact people, it has been for what would have been a mutual exchange and one where I was not requesting compensation. On those occasions where I do seek to meet someone, I do it on my own, or my company's expense, depending on the circumstances. I will not ask for money, nor do I want from you. If you feel compelled to aid my cause, the best I can offer is that you donate money to Burnside, a charity that helps single parents and children. Okay, don't send Craig money. Donate to a charity. Okay, let's read very carefully. Okay, slow down. Read carefully, what does this say? What are the words in front of our eyes? In this post, I will explain the process of verifying a set of cryptographic keys. What did he say? What didn't he say? Did he say what keys we're going to verify? Did he say we're going to prove who Satoshi Nakamoto is? Let's just read that sentence again, real slow. In this post... I will explain the process of verifying a set of cryptographic keys. It will be for others to expound upon what is included here, as to the significance and on what they have seen. I guess I'm expounding as to the significance. Here we go. The nature of evidence is the collection of body of facts that lead to belief. Right now, I'm at the point where I've seen the limit of what people take to be truth. It seems that a large component of this is formed through hearsay. Chinese whisper... Craig's old. Even, even when I was young, it was called telephone. An innuendo. For many, proof is not required when a desire to believe something exists. In these instances, truth just gets in the way. Well, all right, this is just general opining about the nature of truth and not particular assertions. It's what we are reading. The process I have recently engaged in will be the only time I do this. I do not seek your approval, and nor do I seek fame. Shortly, you will learn of the organization I have been building. I think that means end chain, right? I wanted more time, but it seems that is not available to me. Before I start this post, I will state categorically that I will never accept a cent that I have not earned. If you decide that it is in your interest to honor me against my wishes without consulting me, if you put me up for an award, I will never accept the money that is associated with it. This does not matter in the slightest whether it is a small and trifling amount, or even something as large as a Nobel Prize. The best I will do is donate this money. I can appreciate you aiding causes I promote, but I will not benefit from you directly. 
a process to implement a legal framework that will constrain me and never again allow me to change my mind on this matter is underway. All right, so Craig doesn't want your money, and he's, I don't know what legal process he can do to keep you from giving him money. If I sign myself Jean-Paul Sartre, it is not the same thing as if I sign myself Jean-Paul Sartre, Nobel Prize winner. It's a quote from Jean-Paul Sartre in 1964. I remember reading that quote many years ago, and I have carried it with me uncomfortably ever since. Are, you, are we reading this together? Are you hearing what Craig's saying? Do you hear this? Do you hear me? This is what he wrote about Sartre in this essay named Jean-Paul Sartre, Signing and Significance. That's the essay. Title. And what we're talking about and reading about right now. I remember reading that quote many years ago. And I have carried it with me uncomfortably ever since. However, after many years and having experienced the ebb and flow of life those years have brought, I think I am finally at peace with what he meant. If I sign Craig Wright, it is not the same as if I sign Craig Wright Satoshi. Are you hearing him say that in this essay... He is signing himself as Craig Wright Satoshi. That that, that that is what he wants and would be awesome and is what he is currently doing. Because you may have misread this paragraph. Let's read it again. The Jean-Paul Sartre quote. If I sign myself Jean-Paul Sartre, it is not the same thing as if I sign myself Jean-Paul Sartre. Nobel Prize winner. I remember reading that quote many years ago and have carried it with me uncomfortably ever since. This is a post about emotions. I see, are, you can't just, just hear, hear what he's saying. He carried it with him uncomfortably. However, after many years and having experienced the ebb and flow of life those years have brought, I think I am finally at peace with what he meant. If I sign Craig Wright, it is not the same as if I sign Craig Wright. Satoshi. I think this is true, but in my heart, I wish it wasn't. And then there's, there's some numbers. What does it say about these numbers? What assertions are made about these numbers right here? Hmm. What does it say? It says, I think this is true. But in my heart, I wish it wasn't. It says John Paul Sartre didn't want to accept the Nobel Prize because it's different to sign John Paul Sartre Nobel Prize winner. Craig Wright feels it's different to write Craig Wright Satoshi. He says, I think this is true, but in my heart, I wish it wasn't. And then there just are some numbers. And then he says, I have been staring at my screen for hours, but I cannot summon the words to express the depth of my gratitude to those who have supported the Bitcoin project from its inception. Too many names to list. He's just thanking people for supporting Bitcoin. Not, not, no assertions about the numbers. He's thanking people for creating Bitcoin. For supporting the creation of Bitcoin. You have dedicated vast swaths of your time, committed your gifts, sacrificed relationships, and REM sleep for years to an open source project that could have come to nothing. And yet still you fought. This incredible community's passion and intellect and perseverance has taken my small contribution and nurtured it, enhanced it, breathed life into it. You have given the world a great gift. Thank you. This, he's writing about his emotions? Okay. Be assured, just as you have worked, I have not been idle during these many years. Since those early days, after distancing myself from the public persona that was Satoshi, I have poured every measure of myself into research. I have been silent, but I have not been absent. I have been engaged with an exceptional group and look forward to sharing our remarkable work when they are ready. Satoshi is dead, but this is only the beginning. Okay, again, let's slow down, let's slow down and read carefully, and see what the words are in front of our eyes that we are reading. This is a section called Key Verification. The Key Verification section begins 
in the remainder of this post, I will explain the process of verifying a set of cryptographic keys. Not, I will prove that I am Satoshi. Not, I will sign Craig Wright, Satoshi. But rather, Satoshi is dead. I will explain the process of verifying a set of cryptographic keys, and the rest of the... <laughs> The rest of the article is a red herring, and I'm, it's tricky. It is not a lie. I've read you the statements, and they're, none of these are lies. You've been tricked, but not lied to. To be exact, that is exactly what happened. I'm sorry. We, we then go on to say various things about uh, cryptography. Uh, he says, what, you, you, how, he says he runs CentOS. I, I assume that's true. I don't. He links to you where you can read about SSL. He's <coughs> he says he's going to explain about hash functions and says he's displaying a particular file from his own computer. Uh, he says a good hash algorithm will produce a large string of values that cannot be determined in advance. This is true things about hash functions and signatures and stuff. The SHA-256 algorithm provides for a maximum message size of 2 to 128 minus 1 bits of information. I don't, is, that, is that true? It sounds true-ish. It's just some facts about signatures. In determining the possible range of coefficient uh, collisions that would be available on average, we have a binomial coefficient. Okay. I will leave it to a later post to detail the mathematics associated with collision detection. <sighs> Notice that none of these words are, this proves I'm Satoshi Nakamoto. He's saying, next week I will follow up with a post based on combinatorics and probability theory demonstrating the likelihood of finding collisions for secure hashing algorithms. You read something here that isn't here. It's just, it's just some facts. It's just some, some distracting facts. Hash functions are relatively simple and can be done by hand. This, of course, belies the complexity that is required to reverse them. Blah, blah, blah. Hash functions. He shows some screenshots. Notice how he says nothing about no assertions are made, like, this screenshot means this. It says script fragment. Okay? In the, fig in the figure above, we have run this on several files, including one that we're using for this open SSL signature exercise. Not this proves that I'm Satoshi Nakamoto. Not, there's an authentic Satoshi signature anywhere in this document, but signature exercise. The particular file we will be using. We are doing a little exercise. <laughs> we are just doing some things with some files. There's a file, and we do some things, and we're just talking about the validation of signatures. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 and then somewhere in here something is like one file name is different from another file name. It doesn't say anything about what the files are or mean. There's no signature for you. It contains no Satoshi signature. So it contains no false Satoshi signature. It contains no real Satoshi signature. It contains a bunch of explanation about how signatures work. A presumably accurate information. In recent session, all right, this is, this is him saying about what happened in the signing sessions. So this is, this is some information that is not, <laughs> is not just him randomly saying facts about hashing and signatures and and causing you to make assumptions about what he's saying and what it means. Here he says, uh, I have used a total of priv 10 private keys. In recent sessions, I have used a total of 10 private keys are associated with Bitcoin addresses. These were loaded into Electrum, an SPV wallet. In one of these exercises, I signed messages that I will not detail on this post for a number of individuals. These were not messages that I personally selected, but rather ones that other people had selected. 
In some instances, we ensure the integrity of the process by downloading a new version of the Electrum program, installing it on a fresh laptop that is with an unbox having been purchased that afternoon, and validating the signed messages on the new machine. A part of what he's saying here is... I mean, he doesn't say this, but, like, you didn't just give him a challenge string. So this post can't contain a signature because it doesn't it only proves something in context he's sort of gesturing at that um the final component we need to cover is the signature itself okay but it's a signature exercise we are doing things with signatures the process of signature verification the signature file we will be verifying contains the following data. In the figure below, we can display the signature file as it is stored on the computer that was used for this process. And we see the result of the verification exercise. In saving this file, you could cut and paste the encoded signature and insert it into a saved file using an editor program such as Vim. Not that I'm looking into getting a holy war of the choice of editing pro- TOO BAD! Vim sucks! Vim can't do anything! <laughs> You like Vim? Why do you like Vim? Vim on CentOS? Are you serious? Okay, um... Script fragment. Script fragment, it says. It's not really even script, it's a command line fragment. Whatever. <coughs> there are two possible outputs from this process that concern us. I could have simply signed a message in Electrum as I did in private sessions. Loading such a message would have been far simpler. I am known for a long history of being difficult and disliking being told what I need to do. The consequences of all this is that I will not make it simple, and indeed it has not been simple. It has not been simple enough for people to understand. Not simple at all. Signing. For you to try the test this year, leisure, I've included the signing script below. Not like I'm proving right now that I'm Satoshi Nakamoto. He says he's included a script. Verification. We can use a similar process to verify the signature we have created. Not I'm proving that I'm Satoshi Nakamoto. We can use a process to verify a signature. Choices on formatting. The signature format used within Bitcoin is based on DR encoding. It's a fact, not that I'm proving that I'm Satoshi Nakamoto right now, using DR encoding, but just some facts, just a bunch of facts, just an incredibly brilliant red herring, which is not a lie, it is a deception using truth. And then, at the end, he says, security is always a risk function and not an absolute. Did I like this post? I... I don't know. I'm impressed by this post. I'm amazed by it. Like is a strong word. I don't know if that helped anyone. Did that... Did that clarify it all for you? Do you get it? Do you get what he said? Okay, good luck.